Welcome to Tenderets. To this week's video where I'm going to show you how you can customize the sidebar in Slack to your own branding colors. And who doesn't want to have their own Slack channel in their own branding colors? Not only does it look awesome because the colors you use are awesome, but also it helps you to distinguish in what channel that you're in just by looking at it. So that's pretty a nice pretty simple visual aid and also it looks amazing it it works both in the slack app and if you check out your workspace um, through the URL here so and also how you get to it is the same so you just click click at the name of your channel and um, you see that here it says preferences and then you will get redirected to the page that you have um, and here on the left hand side you see that there it's, it says sidebar here. So when you scroll a bit further down you will see that there are some themes that are already integrated into Slack. So you could just use one of that. But the cool things about it is when you see that here it says feeling adventurous and you can say customize your theme and share it with others. So usually it's just something that you change with your on your own on your client side. So you if you change it here, you're not changing it for everyone in the channel. However, you can share that with other people. So let's just go to and start out by adding a few of my branding colors. Green, which I never know by heart. So that's very green. Um, and you will see, so that's the background. Here is purple so that you can see the hover item is if you you won't see the hover item immediately so you can exit that one and you can see the hover item then is when you just hover over um, the channels or the names for example. So let's go back here go to preferences and scroll a bit further down again. Then there is obviously the text color which could you could also make black depending on what you like. And you can also use the, you, you saw the menu background hover was when you hover over that area here. So that, for example, we can also make purple and we can eventually use the um, active item. And if you click on, on the color here, you, it, it opens the RGB uh, or it opens the color palette thingy. <laughs> rainbow whatever you know what I mean which then makes it easier for you to just maybe want to be in that same tone but want to still have it a bit different so maybe we do it with the green so that obviously you can't see enough so we can make that a bit darker for example or if you have more than two branding colors you can uh, get, oh, uh, get, of course change that here as well so active presence is that I can hear that's not very visible so you can i were also going to use the purple one here uh and the mention batch is when someone well mentions your name in the channel and you remember then there is a small one or two depending on how often you got mentioned so that's the active item text so as you see that one is white it doesn't make sense to make that one black because well so we leave that white and now when you changed all of that up, you can simply click on copy here and then you can post that into your Slack channel and then it will, everyone who's also in that Slack channel can then switch their sidebar theme, sidebar theme <laughs> to the colors that you've chosen. Again, if you change it on your end, it won't change for all of the people in your Slack workspace, but it's pretty for you and you can share the fun with everyone in your workspace. So thanks for tuning in this week and I hope you have fun with adjusting everything to your own brand, which of course we love to do. And see you again next week, bye. That's it for today. So if you've liked this video and it was helpful at all, give me a thumbs up or give me a few comments below or you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not sure where it is. So maybe it's a red button has a bell on it so click the bell and follow my channel thanks for watching and see you soon bye